and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for monday the 29th of may 2023 we trust you had a good weekend and delighted to be here to lead you through what's happening in markets today let's have a look at what's come across the news of course there was a strong session on wall street over fr on friday broad-based rally after debt ceiling negotiations appear to be close to a deal now uh, the next stage is of course to be put in front of congress for a vote European markets and US markets are all shut today because of public holidays. So it could be quite a quiet day in terms of trading volume. US futures are higher in Asia this morning and Asian markets are following that strong US lead. Nikkei has hit 30 year highs. We've seen levels not hit since 1990. ASX has a 1% gain, which it appears to be holding on to fairly well during the course of the session. And European futures are also pointing to positively, although those markets are shut. As we've already said, the VIX has dropped below 18, which is a good level, suggests market calming. And the US dollar index was near neutral, above 200 EMA. Uh, not much action today to be seen as yet. Gold is holding support, copper edged higher after testing seven month lows last week and all moved higher to test a key level again. In the crypto space, Bitcoin's bounced strongly in Asian session. Now back over 28,000 after bouncing off that support around about 26,300. We'll see if that holds. And no significant day today, really, uh, with markets being shut across the board. Uh, jobs data in the US, culminating, of course, in the non farm payrolls, is the weekly highlight. A couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, certainly there's some strength in the Australian dollar versus the USD. You can see there uh, this morning we've got this nice move up back to a level of interest uh, around about 65.40. Uh, if we breach this level, there could be a move back up possibly to 66 in the medium term, although there may be some pause uh, around about this 65.80 level. Uh, AWC looks interesting on the ASX. We've got a V-shaped bounce. Uh, which has breached this level of interest here at around about 139. Uh, we see plenty of upside in here, possibly to test 150, 153 is where the 200 EMA is sitting now, if we get some continued buying pressure in this. Uh, the last two days, which have been up days, have had increase in volume, which is interesting. Also, uh, some work to do, but one worth keeping on your radar over the course of the coming days. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.